Look, this screw, but it opens. Oh my God, there's jewelry in here. All these rings were worth. Mm. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys, and we just picked up yet another storage unit. Hate to say this, but may have gone into a little bit of a bidding war, and I was not gonna let that guy beat me, so I paid a little bit more than I wanted to for this tiny unit. We paid a hundred bucks for it. There really doesn't look to be much in there, but fingers crossed, there's gotta be hidden treasure. There always is. Don't forget to like the video or dislike it. I don't care, it'll help you save. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. So even though we didn't pay 100 bucks for it, there's two things that I pretty much saw when we were standing out here that I figured would make that 100 bucks back pretty easy. And let's go through that first. One being the big TV back here. Of course, you kind of take the risk as if it's gonna be busted or not. But, ooh, look, it even has the remote with it. That will sell for 40 or 50 bucks very easily if it doesn't have an internal crack, which I'm hoping it doesn't. And this was a guess, but I was just hoping this is an Xbox, looks like, or is it? There it is. <laughs> yep. I may not be able to recognize many of the things you find in storage units, but I know my video games. I know that much. And there goes the controller. Before anyone says, you're going to destroy it. Trust me, I've thrown those controllers much harder than that. They are pretty much indestructible. But look at that. Xbox 360 console. That's the black one, too. It's newer than the older white one. This, again, this has a $70 price tag on it right now. 50 bucks a piece. It's already the 100 back. And that's just the console and a controller. If we find any games with it, and it does have all the hookups. I see the AV cables plus the power cord. Don't see a power brick though. Or does this one have a power brick? It looks like it right there. Yeah. But we have so many of those at the house from when we used to dumpster have a GameStop, it's irrelevant. Wait, what? there's a beat. <laughs> look, is it, you see it right on the door? No, where right is it? Look, look in the camera. Oh yeah, I see it. Wait, that's a, that's a stink bug. Yeah, it's a stink bug. All right, ready, stink bug? Let me get this sucker. You got it? <laughs> Go ahead. You ready to see some moves? Whoa! Bye, yeah. stink bug. Sorry for all you bug lovers, but it had to be done. It had to be done. <laughs> all right. <laughs> House of Pain. I thought these were going to be games already, but just DVDs. Well, there's a lot of stuff in there. And it's not even what it's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, it is. It's in there, but there's some other random stuff in there as well. And let's see what else is in that bag. Nothing. Jump! I want to see what that is. That looks heavy. Set that aside. Ew. What? It's so weird. Yeah, it stinks like for a reason, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, a CD case. This could be other games. Hopefully. And it's... No, it's music. Half of them's burned, too. I hate seeing burn CDs because it's pretty much useless. It's pretty much just trash. At least if they're the better ones, you can write over them, and I keep them just for that purpose. But if they're the cheap ones, you can't even do that. They're just straight garbage. No one wants a burn CD. What else is in here? Oh, whoa. Look at all these CDs. These all... They're all just burnt crap. Uh, a penny. Well, at least we made profit now. We have a $50 TV, $50 Xbox, and a penny. We made at least a penny off this. Going good. So these are all garbage, just burnt CDs. What else do we have going? Hello? This works out? No, oh, they're DVDs. Well, we'll have some declutter fun when we get home. If they're even in there, let's check a couple just to be sure. The day after tomorrow, yeah, it's in there. Joyride. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, that's all in there. Two or three are in there, you can bet they're all gonna be in there. Yeah, that's got some other ones in there as well. Oh, hi, hot tub time machine. <laughs> some good DVD at least. Hopefully we get at least a little bit for it. Should get like 10 bucks, I hope. Let's keep going. Ooh, that stink bug's really crushing it right now. What's this? Baby clothes. Let's see what's over here. I hear metal. More DVDs, joy! Again, we'll declutter them and see how much we get at the end. But let's just check the top one again to make sure they're not cases. 
No, that's in there. So these DVDs will pull something, hopefully. Not very much. It seems like everyone else in the world has much better luck selling DVDs. We tried to sell them at the flea market for 50 cents, didn't sell any, put them down to a quarter, didn't sell any. At the last two hours, we put them down to a dime, didn't sell one. No one's interested in DVDs in the area. Like, move this. Yeah. Right on there. <laughs> Bye. Alright. What's that? Hey, a blood pressure monitor. These are very handy in Northern Virginia because if you leave your house and you drive or you go in anywhere, you're going to need this because it's probably sky high. Mm -hmm. That's this area for you. Let's get to this side, I guess. Uh, this is what we come looking for when we buy storage unit. It's a giant box of paperwork junk. In actuality, I do look through all this because you can find stuff that makes it very interesting. But not right now. We'll go through this when we get home. Set that aside. Another TV. Is it? Ooh, it looks like it does. It looks like it might be a monitor. What is that? Brand new silverware. All right. I mean, they're all still in the box. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. I might like, use that. It's hard to our, our uh, forks and stuff disappear for some reason. Yes, always. <laughs> this looks like the same company. This might be like plates or something. That's a set. Of, my brain is set. These are mugs. This is all kitchenware. It's basically a brand new kitchen set. That's the silverware and just everything else with it. Might keep it, might sell it as a set. I don't know. No, we don't need to sell other stuff. No, we definitely silverware. don't. We use uh, like paper plates. Just because you use paper plates does not mean that you have no money. It just it means, means you you're lazy. Dishes. Trust me. <laughs> I just I have... saw a post on like that on Facebook the other day. Trust me. We've got enough money to. I don't know. I don't want to break sound like that, but you don't need it. I'm just lazy. I don't want to wash dishes. Clothes are boring. boring. Sheets. There's some shoes, but it looks like they have seen better days. Let's see what's in the coat. Anything or what brand or anything like that. Marilyn Me. Why is it always the new? Why can't I ever learn and get familiar with all of them? More clothes. Let's get this towed up. Days. Yeah, it really has. What's this? Don't tell me it's more burnt CDs. I think it might be more burnt CDs. Right here, at least. Yeah, look at that. It's definitely CDs. That if they're burnt or not, I don't know. Are they? Yes. More garbage. There's more, a few more random DVDs and paperwork in there. I got Tweety Bird. Bird. Uh, what's that? That's empty, beat up glasses case. Joy. And, oh. No! Oh. Why can't it be in there? Holster. That's a gun holster. Why can't it be in there? Okay, that just made me a little bit more excited <laughs> though. We're gonna keep digging through it. So let's keep going over here. Almost got to this TV or monitor, whatever it ends up being. Look at here. Looks like nothing. What is that actually? Heat me, braid me, love me. No. I'll trash you. Well, we don't know yet. Let's see what that is. Is that in there? A Leapfrog Epic Academy Edition tablet. It's heavy. Let's hope it's in there. Ready, how do I open it? Oh, it's like an actual full box. You never know, everyone's box is different. They surely make it uniform. And that is in there. Not sure how much it's worth or anything as of now, but it looks new. Maybe used a couple times, but still, it's good. We'll definitely make money on the unit. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, crap, we're gonna maybe break even, but I was like, that guy's not, be I'm winning this unit. Let's get this out. Now to stand at the bottom. Let's Finish going through this first. Some disgusting beat up shoes. You're not going to be worth a thing at all. Alright, this is all closed as well. Hey, look what I see under it. Yay. <laughs> I'll get there in a second. But what's in here? Ooh. Hey, Gordon, these are Hirachis. Those are Hirachis too? Yeah. These aren't bad. These are just like. Oh. These aren't. Yeah, the <laughs> those stink so bad. How much? What size? Is I don't know. Not my size. They're my colors, though. Ooh, they're so 
says nine. Hmm. Close to my size. That'll come right off the bottom, no joke. And by the way, they sell this stuff at Walmart. I forgot what it's called. It's like, it has sprays on both sides and you push it in the shoe and it's so strong. Like this thing could smell like it came straight out of the sewer and you go, psh, completely gone. I think I think that other pair of shoes are lost calls. Yeah, but these are good. Yeah. That'll be worth a little bit of money. And those other ones, oh my God. Let's get the TV or the monitor out. All right. Another monitor. This one's probably, what'd you say, 20 bucks? Yeah. 20 or 30. And there's the power brick for the Xbox. So we don't have to use our own right there. So now that thing's complete too. So it's got the console, power brick, AV cables, and a controller. But boom, complete 360. More DVDs. All DVDs. We'll definitely do a declutter thing. Maybe we'll do declutter at the end of this and just go through them all fast motion to see what we get. It looks like we got HDMI in here as well. Pretty sure that version of the 360 can use either AV or, or HDMI. So it might be for the Xbox as well. But a bunch more DVDs. Let's see. Dag. What are these? They're pretty beat up too, aren't they? Tread safe, oil resistance. Uh, probably a mechanic, I'm guessing. Anything else in here? Just more DVDs. There's so many DVDs. They must have watched the video on the, the clutter and seeing how much we never can sell them and how much little money we get. They're like, let's fill the storage unit with them. You'll never guess what's in this bag. Hey, I see green. We might have games, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What is this? That looks like a jersey. It might be a Redskins jersey. Sorry, I get excited about video games. No, it's nothing. That is a Redskins jersey, but look at it. It's uh, it's inside out. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> but it's still. Look at the yeah. name. Okay. Probably it's garbage. It's ten. What is that? Ten. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember. Ooh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Grand Theft Auto Five is still a decent price. I mean, even on an old 360, this will call, go for like ten or fifteen bucks easy. And we got go in there. GTA Five. Modern Warfare 1. I just heard apparently that they're supposed to be making Modern Warfare 4 this year. I'm pretty psyched. Was that Grand Theft Auto? That's Grand Theft Auto 4 as well. Who's played this game before? Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, it's, this is Liberty City. Never mind. Still. Oh, it's the complete Four, edition. That's oh, the complete one. I never actually beat the, this one. From yeah, I beat the Ballad of Gay Tony. I never did the Lost and Damned. Nico, let's go bowling. That's the only thing I remember from GTA 4. And the rest of it looks like DVDs though, so this will probably increase that Xbox. So we'll sell it as a set for like 60 or 70 maybe now. Let's set that aside. Where do we go from here? Looks like all clothes. Sure. What about those shoes below you? Let's call them dress shoes. Dexter. Ah, they got Dexter. Third, a thirty-five dollar price tag on them, brand new, so. <laughs> Anti-reversion shampoo, a couple of those. Really? Again. <laughs> clothes. Stall clothes. Like a yeah. Boring, boring, boring. Oh. Whoa, hold on. Is that hardening? Yeah, I heard that. More DVDs? Probably. Let's check though, I gotta make sure. Oh, what the heck is that? DVD player. Joy! Five. That may be five bucks. <laughs> if it works. I would assume. <laughs> DVD player in this one with a lot That's of DVDs. We sold the DVD players at the flea market last time, only five bucks. They sold, just nobody wanted the DVDs to go with them. Jump. Some brand new towels. Joy. And that is junk. It's in a book bag. Actual school stuff. That always makes it sad. I'm like, what happened here? Yeah. That was loud. Alright, let's go into here. What do we got? Boom. Joy. Close. And it looks like it's all it's going to be. We'll go through it deeper once we get it out of here. 
Let's go to these clothes too. Looks like more kids clothes. Kids clothes if you have the storage room. You throw them at a flea market or yard sale for a buck a piece, you will get money for them. But we buy so many units, we'd end up with like a whole house full of clothes in like a week. So we usually don't eat most of them if they're not high end. Whole bin. That's what it's like. Joy. Towels. Yeah. We got Coke. Jeremy likes to eat. Eat all the food from the storage unit. Do you want the drink from the storage unit too? Pause the video. So I'm Jeebus' smart side. That's his dumb side. What he does not realize right now is that it's not a Coke can. That is a stash can hiding one of the most valuable finds we have ever came across so far in these storage units we have gone through so far. Make sure you stay tuned to see what it is. Storage unit too. We'll even have Coke. And more paperwork. Ooh. Well, look at that. Diamond rings. That's pretty cool. That is a receipt. Oh, $3,999 on a ring. These people are wild. I, got, I don't know. It's just so much money for like a piece of metal and a rock. When you actually break it down and think about it, it's just a rock and a piece of metal. Pillow. I'm just, I like traveling more than, like, you know what I mean? Items. I don't care. I'll wear something cheap because I'd rather spend my money going somewhere new. That's all blankets and stuff. Creating memories. When you're about to die, that's all you got at the end. Money don't mean nothing. Um, more clothes. This is all clothes. Got a blanket. Go in here and take a nap. I see something leather looking at least right there. More junk. Yeah, those might be shoes. Get that out of there. What brand are these? Give us something good. Axe Appeal. Not too sure on that. Robin. And Arizona. Where? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Now let's send Jeremy. You got some ramen noodles with the Coke. Nice little meal. And even some mouthwash to clean up Ooh. after this. And pancake and waffle buttermilk mix. Oh, yeah. So you're going to have a good feast, man. These shoes are beyond beat as well. And more just, it looks like cheap shoes. We'll look them up as I edit the video. Of course, you guys know we pop the prices up, but as we're going through it, I don't have a clue. Let's see what's in here. Could this be where all the rest of their Xbox games are? They're not going to have an Xbox with three games, right? I wouldn't. Boop. No. That's just a little folder thing. I guess if you don't have a cell phone in 2019. Other than that, it looks like it's all in that box or bag. All right, guys, so this one is all closed here. Nothing else there, so we're going to leave that there for now. Let's get into this side. Phone charger. More burnt CDs. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess. Like, why can't you at least put them all in one container? Why is there, like, 80 bags of burnt CDs? Anything else in here? It looks like wires. What is that? Con Air. Your hair dryer? I don't know. There's just a bunch of just random electronic wires and stuff. It's in the little bag. Oh, jewelry and nail polish and stuff like that. Alright. Is this all closed? Other than that, <laughs> this is all closed as well. Let's check in this one. Whoa. That's heavy. This is going to be $10 million cash. Not quite. All paperwork. <laughs> but paperwork can tell an interesting story, so we'll set it aside too. And it looks to be behind these totes. No, but let's look through it one good time. A detergent bottle with stuff in it. Doesn't look like much though. Nail or makeup of some sort. And nail polish. Boo. Hey, a little. That's complete. But it was 15 bucks new at Roses, so it's not going to be very expensive. Other than that, I think that's all we got in this unit. So we got to go find out how to get a cart, get this stuff cleaned up, get it to the car, and then we'll do a recap once we get home. See you then. This 
this isn't coke. Look at this. I just tried to open it to be funny. I was about to pour it on you. Look. This screws. This doesn't coke? No. If it does, it's pretty freaking strong. Wow. But it opens. Why do I feel like we're about to find cocaine? Look at that. <laughs> okay. This is about to be cocaine. <laughs> this is about to... <laughs> Well, how do you even get that? That's pretty creative. Like, somebody made that theirself. There's Where's the glove at? Uh, Give me a glove. I'm scared there's going to be, like, cocaine in here. There's an invention for everything. It seems that way. Everything's already here. <laughs> hold on. Look, it doesn't... Like, you can't hear nothing. Like, I just tossed it. Look. It doesn't sound like there's anything in there. But there's paper towels in there. Is there a weight to it? I mean, it feels like a regular Coke can. There's paper towels, yeah. I literally said, like, give me a glove and I'm oh, pulling no. it out the other hand. <laughs> hey, you're using the wrong glove okay. Oh my god. There's jewelry in here. You think it's real? It says I love you on it. There's a lot in here, though. We've yet to find real jewelry, so I'm like kind of not as excited as I should be. Look at those. Can you see that? Yeah. That looks real. Let's see if there's any markings in it. Uh, 14 karat. That's actual gold. This is the first time we found gold. What else did it say in there? It says something on the other side. F something. But that says 14 karat. What about the I love you one? Um, 10 karat. These are all real gold so far. And this one is. Uh, let's see. 10 karat as well. You think these gems are. Those gems are real. Are real. And then <laughs> you're sitting on a mountain of cash. Can you see that in the focus? Yeah. yeah, that's a ridiculous amount of money if those are real. And we got, I don't see a marking in that one. Yeah, I don't see a marking in there. And then this one. Can you see that good, too? Yeah. And this one says, that's real, too. 18 carats. All of them have markings, except for the crazy-looking one. I mean, look at that. That's probably, if that's real, then, I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of cash. Hold on, put the light on it. There's a marking in it. I can't see it. I can see KT, it's gold. But I don't know if it's 10 karat or 24 karat or what. That's real gold. If those are real diamonds, then that's probably the biggest score by far we've ever had. Holy crap. Look at those. I mean, that is a lot of diamonds. If those are real, then that's a ridiculous amount of money. We gotta take it to like a pawn shop or something once we leave here and get it at least looked at. I'm not gonna sell it to them, but they could tell if those are real diamonds or real gold. My heart rate right now, <laughs> if that ends up real, I mean, that's got to be thousands of dollars. When do you think so? Yeah. Since five. I'm not good with jewelry prices. Though, yeah, so me neither, either. but I mean, I know diamonds are worth a lot. If those are real diamonds, and that's a lot of money. <sighs> the van is still completely packed from the last storage unit, so guess what? We have to pack the car up now. Great. All right, guys, time for the moment you have been waiting for. So we took them all to the stores, three different pawn shops to get them appraised in. The numbers were ridiculous. So total, or actually, let's go through them singularly. All these rings were worth, mm, starting with these three. These three, can you just like try, I guess, try to zoom in on them if you can. These three, they offered us a combined $315, which... <laughs> Wasn't mine. We didn't. We haven't sold any of them, obviously, because we're showing them to you. Because first of all, the pawn shops are going to rip you off anyway. So that's for the first reason. Those three were not worth as much. About three hundred fifteen dollars. These two combined. I don't know why they separated them like this. I think it was by carrot. These two were another three hundred and fifty dollars for the pawn shop's offering. So you know they're probably worth two or three times that. So 
that's already a thousand dollars most likely retail easy but what we did not show you because we did not realize on the video is underneath the final napkin in here there was a third ring and this one was wrapped up all by itself and now i'll show you why look at that one three stone ring retail of that thing thirty six hundred dollars is what it's going for right now the pawn shop offered nine hundred dollars for it so obviously we know that's where we get a number from they're offering about a third of what it's really worth but we found the exact thing online because remember we found a receipt in the bag too guess what the receipt was too right there this is a three to four thousand dollar ring going as low as thirty two hundred on some places going as high as four grand on some so this is crazy. By far the biggest find we've ever had. And just think, we got this unit because I was just being a douchebag and not letting the other guy win. And I just wanted to beat him in the bidding war. That is legitimately the only reason we ended up with this unit. The only things I saw in there were a TV and an Xbox. So I figured I'd get my 100 bucks back and everything else would be profit. Was not expecting this. Number two, when we were cleaning up, when I picked it up, I was going to open it to joke with her. If I didn't try to pop this as a joke, this would have went in the trash. So when you're cleaning out units, check everything. I could have thrown away a Coke bottle that had four or $5,000 worth of rings in it and had no idea at all. So when you do these, if you buy these two, check every little last detail you can. We spent, what would you say, like almost three or four hours going through everything else in this unit everything else there was nothing really big there might have been an extra like 50 to 100 bucks in there but pretty much every other big item is what you've seen on video but these rings this ring in particular like i said that one's retailing for over three grand as high as four thousand so right now we're probably not selling any of this stuff because we get a lot of messages saying you know oh, you sell this to me will you sell this to me so not to sound mean but right now if we see any message about these we're gonna have to ignore you because we're going to look into it and see how much money we can really, really get down the road. Because, I mean, this could be four or $5,000, like I said, off a $100 unit. So, absolutely insane. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. What a freaking day. I'm like, I'm still on cloud nine, if that makes sense. I'm still up there right now. So, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. And if you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.